Hi everyone, um, I'm going to present the uh, old visit pro project that we developed here at uh, Q de la fin, uh, O2, which is a foundation for sustainability in uh, Switzerland. Um, the project we worked on was a project to uh, enable people to visualize electromagnetic fields. Electromagnetic fields are all around us, generated by different devices like this one, that one, but we cannot really see them. So what we created is a device that lets you see these electromagnetic fields. The device is based on an Arduino board, which is a piece of a great piece of electronic that lets you prototype things. And we added uh, two sensors to this Arduino, Arduino board. One sensor is used for detecting high frequency fields and the other one for detecting low frequency field. I'm going to show you what it looks like. We can actually connect the sensor to an Android mobile phone and we created an Android application that lets you experiment and learn about electromagnetic fields. I can start the sensor and start the application and now I can um, select several menus to learn things about electromagnetic fields or directly to experiment with them. I'm going to experiment with low frequencies and I'm going to try the driller. I select the driller and now I get some explanations about what the driller is really generating, if it's dangerous or not, and so on and so forth. And then I can really experiment with it. So I'm going to start the sensor we see that currently we have no electromagnetic field detected. I start the power socket. We already have a small field. And now I'm going to start the driller. And we see that it will go up. I move away. It goes down again. Let me show you with another type of device. We are going to test uh, these lamps here to see what field they generate. Get a feel of what it generates. So, start the lamp. And I start the sensor. And first, I'm going to test with the uh, normal lamp. I see that I have a, quite a small field that is generated. I know if I try with an economic lamp, I see that the field is, is actually much bigger. So it consumes less energy but generates a bigger field. So I should just make sure that I'm at least a few centimeters away from that lamp. As you see here, there are no more fields detected. The the device can also be used to detect high frequency fields. And I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So I select high frequencies and I'm going to try with a depth, which is a cordless phone. And if I start the sensor, select depth. I get some explanations about what a depth is and what field it generates. And I can start the sensor. And now I start the depth. You see that there is a, a field that is seen now. And you can observe that even if I don't use the phone, actually the field is still generated. So you should rather buy an echo deck than a deck. Because echo deck they don't generate such a big field when you don't use them. Uh, as a last step, I'm going to show you what my mobile phone does. So I'm going to start my mobile phone, and you see, as soon as I start it, there's some data transmitted. So you see a field that is generated. I'm going to call home to show you what it looks like. And you can see that there's a a rather big field that is generated. If I move away, then the field will get lower and lower progressively. All right. 
So you see why it's useful to use a hands-free set. Okay, this was the demonstration of the on-visit project at QDOF 02. Thank you.